of moderate exercise a day can reduce your risk of stroke. Professor Fagan, how does exercise actually reduce our risk of stroke and how much exercise should we do? And should we exercise if we already had a stroke or can that be dangerous? Yes, exercise um, um, or lack of relates to the risk of stroke um, quite substantially. And the main mechanism of um, the association is through the um, increasing your weight, increasing your blood pressure, in increasing uh, the risk of hardening of your arteries, uh, um, diabetes, increasing risk of developing diabetes. Um, so all these mechanisms can lead to stroke. That's why regular exercise, as you said, at least 30 minutes a day, moderate exercise, exercise that makes you uh, short of breath or um, uh, makes you uh, sweat a little bit. That level we need to maintain for 30 minutes. And another important component of good exercise is that you need to enjoy it. Um, if you force yourself in doing something uh, physical which you don't enjoy, the benefit would be far less. Uh, and you need to choose what you enjoy most from, like walking, jogging, swimming, gardening, uh, house working. If, you, if it brings you joy and uh, gets that level of uh, intensity, then do it, but do it regularly. That's the key point. Every day, not once a week, going to gym or swimming pool. It's not enough. You can spend there several hours, but it, it doesn't equate to regular um, exercises. Um, uh, so um, the, when you have already some health conditions, increasing your physical activity need to be supervised uh, by your health professional. But if you are a healthy um, individual, you could increase uh, your level of physical activity to the desired level by yourself. You don't really need, um, need to see your doctor for that. Only if you have already some conditions, particularly heart conditions, um, then you need to see a doctor's advice first. Even after stroke, if you have limited mobility, you still can do exercise, uh, lying in the bed, raising your legs, arms, moving in the bed, or sitting in the chair. You can still do exercises. And if you do it regularly, with enough intensity, you will benefit from those exercises. So we do encourage um, um, all people, even people who already developed stroke, to be physically active as much as possible. I think that's um, important. Do what you can, but um, do it on a regular, regular basis. Exercise is so important. And um, as you said, we don't need to go to the gym seven days a week and pump weights for three hours at a time. But um, as Valerie said, do something that you enjoy. Go out for a walk, um, go for a bike ride, go for a swim, find something you enjoy. And then it won't be a task, but it won't be something you look forward to in doing. Yeah, there is one interesting aspect of regular exercise that have been... Um, um, kind of um, discovered, if, if I may say so, just recently, that regular exercise actually improve your cognitive ability, mm -hmm. your thinking, your uh, logical thinking, decision making, it actually may prevent the development of cognitive impairment, dementia. Um, so it's not limited just to reducing risk of heart attack or stroke. It also helps 
to reduce the risk of developing dementia. Another very important component, especially for elderly people um, who uh, may already develop some memory problems um, after stroke, for example, or without stroke, um, some difficulty in recalling things, particularly on recent events, if they do regularly exercises, as I described, they will soon notice that their cognitive ability is improved and they reduce their, uh, their risk of developing dementia. Another very, very important component and benefit of excess, regular exercises. Absolutely. Exercise is so important. So if you can make it part of your everyday life, so it's not a chore, but it's something you enjoy and you will see the benefits of it pretty quickly. Yes. Come visit us uh, on our website, our stroke prevention campaign, Don't Be The One NZ, um, www.strokecentral.org.nz or follow us on Facebook for um, regular updates and any more info. And um, yeah. Get out there, get exercising, and um, stroke prevention is key. Thank you so much. Thank you.